Good morning and thank you for joining us. Let's start today's technical analysis with the pound dollar pair and recent events during the markets. Greg? The pound dropped 0.8% against the dollar in the last session. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an oversold market. The gold dollar pair dropped 0.6% in the last session. The MACD's negative signal is in line with the overall technical analysis. The last session saw the euro fall 0.5% against the dollar. The Williams indicator indicates an oversold market. The dollar gained 0.7% against the yen in the last session. The ultimate oscillator is giving a positive signal. Thank you for your insightful trading ideas. Moving on to world headlines. Tory leadership front-runner Liz Truss has said that there is too much talk that there's going to be a recession, as she insisted an economic slump is not inevitable. The Foreign Secretary suggested a level of ambition was needed to change the orthodoxy and avoid the outcome forecast by the Bank of England. Tesla plans a 25% price increase for its premium driver assistance system marketed in the US as the full self-driving or FSD option. FSD currently costs $12,000 with subscriptions at $199 per month. Wall Street capped a choppy week of trading with a broad slide for stocks that left the major indexes in the red for the week. The S&P 500 closed 1.3% lower, breaking a four-week running streak. Thank you. And now let's go through today's major economic events. The U.S. Chicago Fed National Activity Index will be released at 12.30 GMT. The U.S. three-month bill auction at 15.30 GMT the U.S. six-month bill auction at 15.30 GMT. The Dutch Consumer Confidence Edge will be released at 04.30 GMT. The Belgian Consumer Confidence Index at 0900 hours GMT. Japan's German Buber Monthly Report at 1000 hours GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed today's market outlook. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to log in tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial market.